off the goal. Nineteen ninety one was really used for one objective was to ascertain the players that we had, whether they were A committed enough to play at the top level and B had the capacities required. So an enormous number of personnel were changed over between when I arrived at the end of nineteen ninety and by the end of nineteen ninety one looking to uh, launch ourselves for ninety two. About thirty odd players who were here in that time had been uh, asked to uh, leave and by very astute recruiting, we had probably our best year for a decade when we were able to gain players from other clubs, Spalding, Williams, Athorn, Hogg, those sorts of players who filled very important needs that we had and um, we picked up a number of very good young players who appear to have, even in retrospect, a very good future. The Shoals, the McCormicks, Welsh's, Delulio's, those kinds of players who came via the draft and some from other players who were under 19 players there and not kept by those particular clubs. So we probably had as good a year recruiting wise before the season that this club's had for some time and, and we haven't been all that good in that department. I mean I think that's a bit of a, a luck of the draw, there's a bit of Russian roulette in the whole thing. But we did particularly well in the draft. So we had an outstanding pre-season. We always divide into a team's competition. And we, uh, we go away um, together uh, to Narrabeen in Sydney, which we've been doing for the last couple of years. And it seems to me that's a very good place to prepare and a very good way to prepare and bring the guys together for eight or nine days. And we work two or three times a day together in preparation. So that was excellent. Um, so we really arrived with the exception that the league were obviously going to make it difficult for us to have uh, Williams on board and that was sad but in retrospect gave us a chance to blood other players and our performances early were quite good even without um, Greg being able to contribute as an on-field player but where he was able to contribute was in a very professional sense in our training and preparation for the first time I remember players really working hard prior to the session with their specific skills and that would have been the catalyst for that, I believe, was Greg, who would never come in and not have a ball in his hand and not involve someone else. And players were getting used to the idea, well, if you were standing around, he'd like you to grab you. It might be better to go and work with somebody else and not be made a fool of. So Greg set a standard in a particular area where I think we'd been deficient. And that had a, a quite a remarkable effect on a number of other players. So he was a plus in our preparation without being able to get onto the field minutes and 30 to play in this first quarter and the Blues will have to get a move on oh look at the leap as we see Gleeson come away with the ball to half forward good mark to Spalding 